for question number 21 now on the addendum. It says when an unstable isotope of an element undergoes alpha decay, which of the following happens? So this topic concerns nuclear physics and radioactivity. In particular, there's three major kinds of radi radioactive decay called alpha decay, beta decay, and gamma decay, okay? Alpha decay, beta decay, gamma decay, and it is named after the alpha, beta, gamma, the first three letters of the Greek alphabet. Alpha decay basically is the emission of the nucleus of a helium atom, so H24, He24. Two protons, two neutrons uh, are emitted from the unstable isotope. Beta decay is the emission of an electron. Electron minus one, zero. Okay? So basically, uh, the, what happens, I will talk about that later in the next problem. What happens is one of the neutrons, the extra neutrons in the nucleus of the uh, unstable isotope turns into a proton and it also emits an electron. Uh, gamma decay is basically the emission of a uh, a gamma ray, which is an electromagnetic ray. So gamma ray, well, <clears throat> so a gamma ray is basically an electromagnetic ray, so nothing happens to the charge of the original isotope that um, uh, goes this decay. So in this case, we are concerned about the alpha decay. So the equation for alpha decay can be written like this. If you have an original uh, um, isotope, let's say the isotope is named Z, the atomic with an atomic number A and an atomic weight W, okay? So we can call this any symbols we want, but uh, we, I'm calling this atomic number and then the atomic weight W. If this goes uh, alpha decay, so it's gonna release the um, nucleus of a helium atom. So that means it's not releasing any electrons or anything, but just releasing what is the nucleus of a helium atom. Well, what is in the nucleus of a helium atom? Two protons, two neutrons, that's it. The helium atom uh, nucleus, you have two protons and two neutrons. They have similar mass, right? So the mass of this is basically four, four times the mass of the proton, right? That's why we say two, four. It's got two protons and it's got four atomic masses because the mass of the proton and the neutron are more or less the same, right? So basically in alpha decay, the original uh, radioactive isotope is releasing the, just the nucleus portion of the helium atom, right? So we have helium 2, 4. Well, in order to balance the equation, what has to happen, Z? Well, Z turns into a new element. We can call it Q if we want, okay? Into a new element, Q. And in order to balance it, what has to happen here? Well, this has to be A minus 2. Right? The number of protons is going to be reduced by 2 because A minus 2 plus 2 gives you A. And what's going to be happen to the atomic weight? It's going to be W minus 4. W minus 4. Well, W minus 4 plus 4 gives you what? W. Okay? So in order to conserve the charge and in order to conserve the total mass. Okay? And as a result, it's also going to release some energy as a byproduct of this. Now, what happens here? It says here, when an unstable isotope of an element undergoes alpha decay, which of the following happens? A, its atomic mass decreases by two. Is that what happens? Does the atomic mass of the original element decrease by two? No, it decreases by four, right? So this is wrong. It doesn't decrease by two. B, its number of electrons is reduced by one, okay? Does anything happen to the number of electrons? No. We said that the uh, alpha decay is just the uh, <clears throat> emission of the nucleus of the helium atom, right? So nothing happens to the number of electrons. So in terms of charge, what is the net charge of this? Well, if the original isotope was uncharged, this, the net charge here should also be zero, right? Well, what is the charge of the helium, the nucleus of the helium atom, He, He24, okay? Well, since 
there is no electrons here, it's just a nucleus, there's two protons, the charge of this is positive two, right? Plus two. What is this? Well, it's the original isotope, right, with no change in electrons, but it's missing two protons, right? If it's missing two protons and the electrons stay the same, therefore the charge of that is minus two, right? Two minus two, therefore the net charge is zero, the original is the net charge is zero and charge is conserved, okay? So in this reaction, charge has to be conserved. So the number of electrons is not reduced or increased. It's not changed at all. So B is false. C, its number of protons increases by two. Is it increased by two? No. It actually decreases by two. D, its number of neutrons decreases by two. Is that true? Number of neutrons decreases by two? Well, Yes, that's actually true, because what happens is it releases a helium nucleus, two protons, two neutrons. So it lets go of two neutrons, right? Why does its weight decrease by four? Because it's lost two protons, two neutrons, and therefore it's lost four, right? So the choice is its number of neutrons decreases by two. Now, it could have been... The, the choice could have been so that it could have said something like this. Its atomic mass decreases by four. Then that would have been true. And then the, it could have been that this is false. Its number of neutrons increases by two. Increases by two. Then what would the answer have been? Then D would have been false. The number of neutrons does not increase. Then A would have been true its atomic mass decreases by four okay so depending on the question you have to read it really well analyze it draw a picture draw the reaction down and then analyze the choices it's kind of tricky okay but in this case the choice that was true was d okay thank you very much